Now, so we are done with the process flow, but I still want to introduce two more things to you. One is that how do you pattern a very small pattern, a very small feature? Nowadays, we cannot go lower uh, because the, uh, we, we can, I, I will talk about that. But for, for, for the lights, right, the shortest we are using, actually, I even forgot, right, is one, 193 nanometer. For up, that is a, a UV light, right? And how can you pattern a 10 nanometer structure with, with 193 nanometer wavelength? It's impossible. So there are lots of innovation, right? The first thing actually I should refer to the right first is so called LELE. -L -E. You will always see this. What does it mean? It means lithography, edge, and then lithography again, and then edge. This is not too difficult to understand. For example, I want to pattern this six trench. I cannot put them in the same mass because I cannot print them at the same time. This is impossible because they are too close to each other optically. So what do you do? You actually create two masks, right? You use mass one first, to pattern here. This is pattern already, okay? And then you call in the second mask and then you pattern using the second mask. This is from the second mask. So basically you just, what I'm trying to say is you might have a pattern like this, you want to pattern. Let's say they are too dense. You just decompose them into two parts. This mass plus this mass. This is mass one. This is mass two, right? So in your layout, you only have one mass. They are all maybe the fin or the poly gate, but actually in the tape out, you actually created two mass. So there are even more. If you want to have something even denser, people do LE, 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 LE. So for lithography and edge step. So you see, it is very expensive. Is this okay for this LELE? -L -E? Now, another thing is that we don't use the mask, we use so-called spacer, right? We, I can pattern this, this is Y, easy to pattern. But you know, this is not what I want. After this, they deposit spacer. It's just a conformal layer, and then we etch it. When you etch spacer, because this is thicker, so they left over. And then I remove the mask. This becomes my mask. And then I etch them. Then I am able to get this small pattern. But remember for you, when you do the layout, you actually ask for this. So your EDA should convert this one to this layout so that through this process, you will get the mask that you want, the pattern that you want. Is this okay? Okay, then I still want to uh, uh, introduce a few more uh, new technology because you are going to hear about this a lot in the future. Another so-called, another feature is so-called mandrel, right? So look at this. I actually want to have these two patterns, but I cannot just uh, ask it to print two photo resists because before in lithography, uh, they won't print because they're too close to each other. So what do I do? Actually, the mass will be this one. This is the real mass. And then they deposit the spacer, like what we did before. After they deposit the spacer, then we etch, I mean, deposit this layer and then etch to form the spacer. And then we can have a blocking mass to block outside. And so that it will only etch these two region to get what we want. So you see that, I don't, 
I, although I draw this, but the EDA need to convert my layout to these two marks, the purple one. So that go through this process, I will get what I want here. And this is called Manju. Okay, this is not the real mask that you have, but you need to put this Manju so that it knows what to do. Uh, is this clear? Any questions? Right, so I, uh, I don't know if you uh, can follow me. I don't get any questions. But the point is, I want you to understand the complexity for nowadays a process. So when you do the layout, there will be something that uh, you don't understand. You don't know why isn't that it is transferred directly. Sometimes the EDA will do it for you, but sometimes you need to do it together. And because of this manual process, you actually create something extra outside so that you actually need extra step to clean up the spacer outside. So there are many rules you might feel very strange why they don't uh, allow me to do that. That is just because there are lots of transformation you don't see in this process. And you really need to understand the fabrication in order to do that. This process is called self align double patterning. You see, we do it two times in order to print two very close features, okay? Now, so finally, just want you to know nowadays, right? We have went through in the old time from G9, 436 nanometer, I9, 365 nanometer, all the way to nowadays we are saying argon fluoride, 193 nanometer. But this is not the one we were using, it is I. I means immersion. What does it mean? You actually immerse the lens, right? In water. Anyone has any idea? When I do lithography, this is wafer. And then I put the water here, a layer of water. And I put the lens here. Why do we want to do that? Why do I want to put the lens in the water? Something to do with the index of refraction. Very yeah. good. What happened to the, why water has a higher index of refraction, larger than one? What happened when it is larger than one? What happened to the wavelength? Maybe you forgot, but you, you are right. It reduced the uh, wavelength, right? So this is really, I mean, nowadays semiconductor is really creative and also uh, you cannot imagine, right? They, they just because they want to increase the resolution, they put the lens in the water. They immerse there. That means there will be a lot of particle defect because once you have water, all the defect can flow around. They reduce the yield, but they can do it. They were able to make this in the production and that's the, in, the, in the CPU in your laptop nowadays, right? So, so this is very amazing. But finally, this is hitting the limit. Even we use little edge, little edge, even three times LE, 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 self aligned double patterning or even self aligned quadruple patterning. We do it three, four patterning, still not enough. Nowadays we went to something called extreme UV night, which is basically a soft X-ray. It has 13.6 nanometer wavelength. This is very expensive, very bulky. And uh, only a few companies is using it, TSMC, Samsung, I don't know even Intel was able to make it in a qualification, right? So they are so short that they cannot use lens because the lens will absorb, absorb all the energy. They need to use mirror and use a lot of uh, things that you learn in the EM, all this refraction, diffraction. Okay, so this is the state uh, of the art, okay? Any questions?
Now I show you this to let you know that the world is very complicated. What you're learning in this class are simple, a basic, but you uh, need to be aware of the real thing when